And welcome back to Track Team 13. We are here with you through noon, celebrating the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. We're excited. We're ready for the race to start, but there are some people that are even maybe more excited than us. Yeah, you know, so many people have made this a tradition year after year after year to make sure they always come to this race. Yeah, and it's a big part of their legacy and their family history. I thought it was a big deal. I've been here 30 years. This is nothing. <laughs> I mean, nothing. A lot of people have you beat. <laughs> a lot, including the subject of Andrea Moorhead's report on a guy who's been here for 70 years. A kid in Indiana only remembers two things. They either play basketball or race. And racing is where the heart is for Ronald Martin, who's been going to the Indy 500 since he was nine years old. That was in 1946. George Robson won, and Mari Rose won the next year and the next year. He and his father missed 1950 when they stayed home to watch it on TV. And I'll distinctly remember my father saying before the race ever started, he said, we'll never do this again. <laughs> he says, we gotta go to the race. Gotta yeah. go to the race. <laughs> they were in Grandstand B for several years. Then they moved to Grandstand E, and it's been a permanent home ever since, in the first turn where they see all of the action. As my father used to say, that was the only place you could see him slow enough to see him. He has a lot of tickets from over the years. 61 was uh, A.J. Coy. And he knows all of the winners. 63 was Pernelli Jones, 64, A.J. Foyt. A.J. Foyt, national champion. Who's one of his favorite drivers. In an all -out battle. Foyt, the national champion. Then you come into the rear engine cars when Jim Clark came along and, well, Branham came first, but Clark won in uh, 65. But his favorite track memory was in 1972 for his son's first race. Uh, to see the delight in him was uh, magnificent. Uh, that, was, that was Mark Donahue won, and uh, I think you'll find, I think that is Penske's first win. The white flag, one more lap to go. The Martins have been seeing all of the wins. 73 was, was uh, Johnny Rutherford. From Grandstand E every year, 16 family members strong. Each generation that comes on, I think you can see the, the, the delight and, the, and the, how, they, how they absorb it the same way. Martin has enjoyed watching the growth of the sport change, beginning with dirt track cars. They were basically all uh, A.J. Watson cars. Okay. They were, okay. and Watson lived here in Speedway, and I used to go to his, his garage a lot mm. when I was a kid. His Motor Speedway loyalty over the decades earned him a ride in a two-seater and an invitation to a driver's meeting. He's not much into getting their autographs, because for him... Yeah, it's a family affair, definitely is. It's about the experience of cherishing race day, like this one with his brother, who passed away. It's about three generations of family holding on to tradition. Well, we always have a drawing in the race, mm -hmm. race morning. <laughs> Whoever I get that morning will be a favorite that day. <laughs>